everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 100 Baby Challenge. I might actually have a small break from this. Um, come on, kick in. There we go, thank you for the arrow trap and stuff. Um, at the end of Generation 2, so before we start the new season, simply for like a week or two so that I actually have the time to sit down and record quite a few things and have a backlog because I have ran out of my backlog like a few weeks ago and now it's literally going week by week and it's it's quite difficult honestly okay, you're, you're heading to bed you're also gonna be heading to bed you, you don't have your own bed if I remember no no you, I mean you have your own bed you don't don't shake in front of me. Um, uh, you don't have your own room. That That's what I meant. So let's just get them sleeping. Let's get through the last days that Brandy is around. Essentially, let's, let's just do that. Just barely, honestly. Well, hey, now he does know how to be. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll let you eat food. And food. And I'll I'll send the the rest of you to bed, and then we can maybe train him how to walk, and then he could like grow up and stuff, and that would be awesome. I am literally like having commentary from off screen and it's quite interesting, let me tell you that. <laughs> I have a personal square squad that's just. You have no idea how distracting it is when somebody from below your computer is like just waving. <laughs> okay, there we go, we have a couple of beds. I brought a special bed in this side because I kind of believe that. Well, first of all, I'm not too sure will a double bed be working because I'm not too sure would they be able to get onto it. And secondly, we're not gonna have babies for a couple of days, so we may as well use that space and have somebody in a bed on their own. And then when one of the sisters moves out, one gets promoted to the big bed, and then, you know, the, the cycle moves on, essentially. For him to actually age up. Ah, he's actually a funny boy. That's cool. I mean, I can, can definitely see it in your eyes, boy. Either that, or I may want to give you glasses. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'll give him semi-longish hair. I don't even know why I actually come over here to even look at boy haircuts, considering that for some reason there's F all of them. Like, we're gonna be using the same ones a hundred times around, I think. Ah, uh, she's very close. This boy could actually do semi-all red outfits, but not shoes. He selected the oddest kind of shoes, but I, I changed his appearance around, so this is his outwear. That's his swimwear, because otherwise he would have been swimming in what looked like to be regular underwear, which looks really wrong. Sportswear, absolutely no changes were made. I was like, fair enough, you go with that. Sleepwear, which is just regular JJ's. I kind of like the regular JJ's. His formal, I I just picked more appropriate shoes. He really wanted the princess ball ballerina ones. It looked really odd. Uh, 
And for every day I gave him just a t-shirt because I don't think we have had a kid with just a t-shirt yet. His sister also party trained so she can also age up. Do, do we have enough food? Probably not. More pancakes will not hurt. I agree, toddler. Everything is just so funny. Ooh, oh, um, if she ends up being our heir, um, she's gonna be one hell of a bundle of joy. Evil, absent-minded, and unlucky. I, I, do, I don't think we could have landed any weirder, weirder traits. Unlucky also means that she can actually not die of any other circumstance outside of old age, which is an interesting thing. That being said, genetically as a child, she doesn't seem to look that bad, except for her nose. I'll look into it more when we in create a sim. Well, she's scaring the family knows. I can't fault her for that. Her original appearance suits her just fine, though. Okay, I tried edgier clothes on her and found the selection to be seriously lacking, so we're just gonna run with normal clothes and we'll, we'll see what we can do about her when she reaches her teenage years. Also, um, yeah. Children's clothing, seriously lacking, and I ain't about to buy out the Sims store. Unfortunately, I ain't that rich. That was her outfit, and this is her swimsuit. And that's her sportswear. I tried something more funky because you get bored of the same clothes over and over and over again when you have like a million children. That, that would be her sleepwear. Her formal. To show you what I mean about selection being lacking. Like, what the heck is this? Why, why do you frame her shoulders as so? And then that's her every day. She kind of grew up with it. I let her keep it. I'm actually getting children already be waking up. And it's a bit early. Ah! Like, this family legitimately didn't even fully go to sleep and they're already waking up. I didn't even get my quiet time. Help. Our love interest is showing no signs of aging up, so I think we'll have to move out more, well, normally. Ah, oh, you're happy because there's no monsters under your bed. I am glad. I'm glad for you, kiddo. You have completed your homework. You will not be going to school today. And your wants are honestly really weird. Would you like to, to fish during a hailstorm? I, I bet you would. I bet you would. He wants to learn logic, which is absolutely perfectly fine with me. Not like that's difficult.
Aw, the blonde kids are just so cute still. I can still come come over here and eat some pancakes. But we're not bringing a crocodile to the science facility. The hell was that? I so can't keep track of all of you by now, so... I'll, I'll just... I hope that you're all gonna leave the school, right? I mean, you're leaving with your plate of pancakes with ya? Alright, ready dokey then. Take your pancakes to school. Oh, now you put it, put them down. Um, so how are you doing? Oh, now you're now you're back to the bus. I am so confused. Shag shag, Zarboso. Shag shag, indeed. Wait. They left? Um. Not everybody was on the bus, and normally you don't leave for at least 20 more minutes. The hell's happening? The hell's happening in this game today? I am so confused, and all of my children want to visit a graveyard during the full moon. The heck kind of kids do I have? Why, why are you going back home? Um. Sorry to hear you got sick. Get better soon. Oh, for God's sakes. Game was like, no, you, you you can't go to school, you're ill. Well, gives me time to actually eat them pancakes. The rest of you all in school then? Yes, sorta. I mean, you guys are in front of a school, but I suppose this counts. Yes, the, the entrance is there, alright. You can do it. You can do it, guys. Now work hard on that grave. I mean, because if, if you hit a good grade, then we can, like, age you up and stuff, and that's good. How did you guys all get stuck in the front front of that? Weren't you supposed to be reading your logics book? Who said that you can play with your imaginary friend? By the time that the school is out, all of the children will finally be in school, I think. You wanted to make a thousand simoleons a week in royalties? Um. Well, now, now you, now's your chance to, to actually write some books. Take that chance, girly, and just. Write, write them books, and you know what? We're gonna title this one 100 Babies. That, that's, that's enough drama in our lives. But this is enough rest. No, we're not going to France. Not like this. Not with eight sims, we're not. 
Maybe a bit later when we have a bit less. Maybe then, but but not right now. Now, I have nothing against attending free games, though. As long as they're free. Nope! No friends for anybody. Your job, like, literally does not care that you're ill, so actually go and work it. Oh, my, um, everybody's falling in love with Clementine. I don't know how I feel about that. She has the bait club. We're at A. I think we're gonna age up naturally with her as well. I mean, there's only four days until that happens. No! No friends! I have enough kids at home for now. Continue painting, you like that, right? Maybe watch some TV. You're not gonna be a vocal lady, I'm, I'm sorry about vocal legend, I'm, I'm kind of sorry about that. I mean, unless, unless we have another baby girl, then maybe. But I, I highly doubt that that's gonna happen. Jelly pancake. You know what? I, I'm gonna, like, let them do their own thing. For the most part. For, like, next couple hours. I'm just gonna... See. Yes, I, I allow them to go to a field trip. I, I'm just gonna see what will happen. Yeah, I saw that painting. It does look nice-ish. Looks exactly what I would expect the painting of the insane to look. You have to debate at the academy when? I could do it now. He will only be able to attend his free game between Saturday and Sunday, so that's ages away. Hello, cat. We're not gonna be collecting any items. At least I don't think so. I will just let them socialize and do whatever they want to do. I mean, up until a point, they, they, are, they are gonna have to do their homework. Okay, so Brandy actually got a promotion. Aww. And Clementine became the school debate president with a cool sculpture, apparently. Ooh, that is a cool sculpture. Stop heckling things, Clementine, and come back home. Any time to do homework, it, it would probably be now. You can just continue your book, though. 
I appreciate your promotion! That was very helpful! Look, your sister needs that for actual serious reasons, like making us money, so you're gonna allow her to do her computer stuff. Well, hey, now all we need is level 10 photography skill 2. And just like this, after starting to go to sleep at like 9 p.m., by 1 a.m., practically all of them have actually gone to bed. Almost. Actually, it's nearly 2 a.m. now. And one of them has just woken up. And she's feeling unlucky. Hurrah. That's gonna bode well. You're just... You're gonna sit at a computer and and play a computer game, and, and you're gonna be happy about that. And that blocked the pathway to literally everyone else. No, you're not gonna read Where's Bella, you're actually gonna go to school. <laughs> Why do you even wanna do that anyway? Your love interest is still not old enough. It's like your last day, so you may as well just slack off. Clementine didn't skip school. She was held back home because she was ill. The game didn't let me send her to school. That's like unfair and stuff. Go and discover some potions. I mean, logic is what you like to do. So go and do it. We may want to actually, like, pay bills at some point. Might be a good idea. a plaque in my inventory. Oh, that was the spring dance thing, wasn't it? Oh, hey! We bought some inheritance again. Okay. I'll attend the ceremony, why not? First it's the field trip and everything though. Oh that that that's a potion that makes you pee yourself. At least you will all enjoy the field trip! And let me make some more food! And... How, how's my family tree doing as well? Ooh! Righty dokey, the children that were slow at making children finally made some sh children. So there's now a Marty Deshawn. I think Stuart was there from before. 
So yeah, our original founder currently has six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen grandchildren. And that's gonna increase for we're gonna be the one increasing that number. We may even be increasing it multiple times. We're gonna see. Aw, oh, Brandy made it to the honor roll! That's great! I mean, your birthday is today anyway! But good for you! Cerberus had a great time at the field trip! So did everybody else! So Brandy is allowed to move out today, but at the same time she's just gonna like naturally age up. Soon enough anyway, so we may as well let her do that. Don't go to anyone else's houses. Because currently... Yes, you're allowed to go on any field trips that you want. Currently I'm having a tiny, teeny bit of trouble trying to keep this household running. Therefore... No, no visits to other families currently allowed until I figure out what the hell I'm doing. Okay, so Brandy got some skill boosts and she's proud about what she's accomplished. Ah, drama club participation trophy. That's nice. I'll let you do whatever you want for the rest of the day, which actually includes doing your homework for some very bizarre reason. If that if that's what you want, that is what you should do. Your sister is very tired. Your your brother I thought he was stuck standing there, but no huh? he fell asleep in the chair. That's very exciting, like that their their wishes are just to have a nap. But no, you should actually go and do your homework. I know that the comfy nap chair is comfy, but still. Everybody's doing homework, so nice. And she wants to have an after school activity, and honestly I don't see why not. You can attend ballet, little lady! Because it's very appropriate for you. Not that it's very appropriate for an evil person to do ballet, but still. You're, you're gonna head to hay, which is smart. Ask me. Are you sign up for ballet? You do, yep, you did your homework. Well done. Well done there. Why are you all so boring? Why why is it that just makes you be like, yep, came back home, time to sleep? Go on, at least seek some sort of entertainment, child. Let you watch TV and everything. Yay! Brandy's actually aging up. You did not finish your homework. Oh, and you're also having a birthday.
You know what, Brandy? You can travel abroad. You can do anything you want. But first, we're gonna change your appearance. We're gonna plan outfit. And then we're gonna... Make you sit down and buy a house that I am about to pause the recording and design. But I do want to do all of these things first. Ooh, Cinder is a gather. No birthday parties or anything. We're trying to keep things in check. She ended up having really massive eyes, but I think this is an appropriate haircut. And she turned out to be real pretty. Unfortunately, that is the first child to be born to us, not the last one. I could have done literally anything to her and she would have still looked fine. So this is her outwear. Swimwear. Sporty thing. Nighty thing. Normal thing. An everyday thing, but I could have literally given her a bag of potatoes and it would have worked. Still can't believe that Cinder's actually ended up with reddish toned hair, and I am very confused why he looks like he's a werewolf, but we're gonna go with this, including allowing him to keep his very interesting eyebrows. Okay, Cinder somehow looks massive and sophisticated at the same time. I is very confused. This is his outwear. That's his swimwear, and as you can see, the person with a massive belly once again has as a six-pack, so I is very confused. Sportswear. Sleepwear. Formal. Yes, that is formal. And that is every day. And this is where I'm gonna end it, folks. So, yes, uh, directly on um, Cinder's new outfit. I, wow, um, that's very interesting appearance to pull. Fat, muscular, and 40? 30? I is very confused. Anyway. Thank you for watching. When we come back, we're gonna be moving Brandy out, and then we are gonna be having more children! If, if they're girls, it's okay, but having Daria as the next heir would at least be funny, because she's pulling the weirdest-ass traits possible. <laughs>